Hi, this is uh, a video. I've just got this uh, a PHBG. It's a Chinese copy, a uh, Delorto card, basically. 21mm. And I'm going to get ready. Right, let's see what's in the box. Hopefully, there's a card there. I find these sort of tops, the screw tops are better than the, the other. I've got the old carburetor here. It's better than that. It's just for if you're changing the, the needle jet or something like that. It's just a lot handier. Right, so what I'll do. It's not really recommended just to get one of these and out of the box and stick on your bike. Because 9 times out of 10. It'll no, it'll not work right. It'll need jetted or right. This is that's for a a cable choke. So let's see. That's a 10, 10 millimeter spanner. Let's see if we get one of them. In my box of goodies. Thing is, as well, you really want a. I don't know what everybody else does, but there's going to be a certain amount of machining particles, if you want to call it that. Let's see, metal flakes or whatever floating about. So you really want to give this a, a good clean out. That's that's just me. Right, they bit there, I didn't need. I've actually got the the old manual choke of the old carburetor. You can get these so sort they're of, just make sure that's in camera. Yeah. Right, so I've got that was lying in the packet too. That'll be the blanking plug for the that's your two stroke oil feed. If you're using a an oil pump, but uh, I've just got pre-mix in the tank. The thing is, that doesn't seem very tight. You've got a blank one there too. If you've got a a vacuum fuel tap, fuel uh, petrol pet cock. Right, so I'll keep that out now. But that's that. Take this off. Just watch because that's obviously that's going to be under tension a wee bit with the spring. So you've got that O ring there. Quite a big spring. Right out with the, the slide. You see what that's for later. That's a retainer for your your cable and that keeps the that needle in place as well. Now that needle you got all different sizes of these, different tapers, different thickness there, different length of the taper, different angle of the taper. That's always gonna affect your your fueling. I'm sure it's between the uh, is about half and three quarters on your throttle and you've got your needle clip uh, your clip there as well that's different heights the further down the needle that is the richer it's going to run because you're, you're pulling that up out the, the main jet basically so that's that's different ways uh, I'm just trying to see that's a W W 
W16. W16 needle. So I've got a chart there. I could post that on. It's quite handy. Uh, I'm sure it should be about W7 you put in these. So that, I would imagine, has kind of run rich. But I think I'll try it in the bike first as it came. I'm not going to start mucking about with jetting because you never know, it might be alright. You get different sizes of slide as well. That's a 50. So that's a different counts. It's going to allow more air going through the Venturi effect in the carburetor. So more air going through that's going to lead the mixture. Right, off with the float ball. Find the screwdriver. Oops. It's quite good that as well. Uh, let's see if, got for that. if you're jetting the bike, oh, instead of taking the four screws off, I think it's hard rather take the four screws off because on that you have to take the carburetor off anyway. That's if on some bikes you can maybe turn the carburetor to the side and do it in place. That's a, a 90 main jet. Right, off for the what ball? It's not very tight. Right, I'll get these yeah, float balls. Yeah, that's all the slack in, just pull that off. Remember, there's a gasket under there. Hopefully, there's a gasket. I've done another make of carburetor similar to this, and these screws were different lengths. So just watch, they look all the same length. There's a gasket. There's all the screws in. Yeah, good gasket. Right, there's. Don't know if you can see that at all. I'll just get something to point out there. There's the camera lens. In fact, I'll grab the camera. It's easier if they because I'll put the light on. So look at all the sort of bits of metal in there. That's just the machining. Now if you if you just put that straight on your bike, all the jets are gonna get clogged up. I think anyway. So let's see. Yeah, look at that. So even with a, I, I would say even if you were buying a, a Delorto carburetor, I would do this as well. And it's just, just peace of mind, basically. Right, I'll switch that light back off. Right, so we've got that. I always have to try and make to keep this in focus. Right, I'm looking at that. That float to me doesn't look right at all. The thing is, you get what you pay for. That carburetor was just over twenty pound. That was a deliver to. So. It's just you know a wee tweak. Right, so with that, 
That just, you've got that there, I would say that, that's some sort of stop. But the thing is, that's, that's going to hit the side of the float bowl before the, that, uh, the float needle closes. So I would say that carburetor would flood. that there, that's going to hit the side of the float bowl. So if that is the side of the float bowl, no, that's, that's coming out. So that's that just shutting. That needle wouldn't shut right. Definitely not. That's needing, I'll get my screws out, that's needing bent in a wee bit, I would say. This is just my way of thinking, like, but... I'm a wee, I went a wee bit too far with that. I'm sure that line there is supposed to run parallel with that. The float height in a Delorto PHB, PHBG carburetor, I'm sure it's 16 millimeter from there to there. Right, I'm going to get the, I'll take the float out. So you've got that, that pin comes out. Out of that, just watch your your needle there. That's basically what regulates the, the fuel coming in. So when the float goes, you think when the float bowl fills, that's going to go down like that, and that little taper there is going to shut off the petrol coming through that. Right, that's your main jet. Well, that's not very tight, is it? your choke circuit, if that's uh, the right name for it. That's your pilot jet in there, that one. It'd be interesting to see what size this is. These are usually stamped on the side. Thing is, jetting this carburetor to fit that bike once hopefully it's, it's gone right, is not necessarily going to work for somebody else's bike with the same setup. Let's see what that says. Can I make that? Yeah. Off the use my camera on the phone. 
Let me see, I'll grab this. So that's a 45. I'm sure that says 45. Yep, 45 on that. That's the needle there. And what does that say? W16. That's your main jet. That's 90. And that there, is that the, I'm sure they call that, is that the, I might be totally wrong, is that the emulsion tube, I always think today we're painting, 262AU, what else, you've got the slide, that's marked 50, Zoom out a wee bit now. Oh, you've got your. I always call that a mixture screw. I think there's two or three different names for it. Like but that adjusts your, well, obviously your mixture. <laughs> uh, uh, idle. Right, I'll, I'll take that out. Right, that's that screw out there. Now watch, because you didn't want to, when you put that in, you didn't put any great force on them. You didn't over tighten up. Because I've had before, I've actually broke the end off of that. We're getting a wee bit sort of enthusiastic. That's your idle adjustment screw. These two here are breathers, uh, I think I'm sure they double up as, if, if your car carburetor's flooding, that's where, uh, uh, that's where the petrol pees out basically. Pretty straightforward. Right, I'm going to give that a wee blow out with the compressed air. It's pretty good that's actually... That's an alloy, alloy base. I've had these and they're plastic, which, in fact, that's plastic. Yeah. Right, I'll give that a little clean out. Right, what I should have mentioned is that actual, that screws out of there. That's your main jet. The main jet is just a, a small wee stubby thing, <laughs> a bit like myself. So the different sizes, that's a 90, so we'll start with that and see what's what. I've actually gave that a, a blow out, a clean out. We, I didn't have any brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner, so I've gave it a squish with WD-40. I suppose it's less volatile and it was just liquid to get cleaned out. So that's that clean. That's cleaned out. Just blow that out. Main jet. Now you think the size of that, that tiny wee hole there, it wouldn't take much to block that up, really. Right, I'm actually tempted 
I've got a W7 needle because if, if I put that in, I'm pretty sure it's going to be splattering mid throttle. Not enough for us to take that off in place. I'll, I'll try it. I'll build up the way it is. Right, first thing is, let's see. You want to get this bit back in. I'm sure that's an 8mm spanner. 8mm somewhere. The thing is, well, you want to make sure the tools you're using are clean. Ten years of dirt on it. Right, right. You just want to ease them up. Then you go daft them. That will shear that brass. Right. So you've got that. Yeah. Right. So I can mind when I first got on the bikes. For my first one, I had a Suzuki TS125. I think it was about sixteen. Or it was a fifteen. Can't mind. And I've had a, my first legal one on the road was a, a Galera RS, is it RS50? That was a 1974 model, that was back in, when was that? 1978. Right, so that's, I'm not very sure if that's, right, and that's that in. Aye. And all my, all my pals used to bring their bikes. I used to, all, I used to love stripping the carburetors and cleaning them out. So, I think that's, that's done this for loads of years. You know, that makes me any better at doing it. Like that. Right, so you've got your pilot jet. Look at that. Just make sure that's in focus. In focus. Look at that. Got that for your choke. So, back in with us. I'm just looking at that. That's where the you want to call that needle valve goes into. I'm sure the two legs there are different heights. So I've straightened that up. I'm sure if I put that carburetor straight on, it, it would have flooded. Because that, that was not shot right. Because of that. That was hitting against the... Well, it looked like it was going to hit against the side of the football. I might be wrong. Right, so that's that. Uh, Get that hook back in there and just I'll do this other way. It's probably better for the camera. Hmm. And just watch how you get that in. And like that. Then you've got I suppose you could call that a pivot pin. Right. Now watch, because there's, there's no really anything hard in that. 
So you've got that. I'll be able to check that out for height. Right. Check the floor height. In fact, that's even set, setting better now. You see that one? So, we adjustment now. So obviously that float. I think anyway, that float must be bent because if that one's sitting straight, and that one's not. So this is what you call a technical adjustment. Right, let's see. Measure. This is a better rough way to the link. Right, so you're just wanting the needle. No weight on that, just that's sitting like that. And that should be 16 millimeter. It's pretty close to me, like. As I say, so it's fingers crossed. Right. So that's tight, that's tight, that's tight, that's on. Back home with the float ball. Hey, you've got the gasket here. You've got like two wheel locating pins. That goes to the back of the carburetor. Like that one. It's quite heavy, it seems. I wonder how you can make these for 20 quid. No, oh, helps if I put the right way around. It's all like that. The four screws. Just make sure they are the same length. I'm sure it was that one there, the screws. Was it that one? Well, it was once similar to that. The screws were different lengths and it was bottoming out. And that was like, it wasn't it tightening up. Right, so. Four screws. Evenly tighten them up. Jetting on two strokes is quite uh, crucial. Well, I suppose it's crucial in any, any engine, but uh, especially two strokes. Because if it's running, running lean top end. That's when you can start getting problems with like overheating. If it overheats, that's when you could have a an engine seizure, melting the piston. So that's the last thing you want. Right, I'll just these don't have to be hammered up like. Come that. See, there's a wee fibre washer in that. Hmm. On with that. Tighten that up. Right. Right, the mixture screw, or the pilot screw, or whatever you want to call it. You've got a wee o-ring there, at the back of that o-ring, you've got a wee washer, and you've got the spring. Now when you put that in, that little, that little bit there, goes through a channel, 
and obviously that's when you're putting that in and out it's either well on this one it's uh, at the front so I'm sure that actually adjusting uh, how much air it's getting if the screws in the back there that adjusts how much fuel it's getting or it might be the other way about but I'm pretty sure that's right so just gently screw that in very gently right then you be doing that or you're, you're going to break it right to start with I'll do that about one and a half turns out so that's half one one and a half that's just to start see where it's going to get right uh, ah, put that right on with the chalk that's basically a plunger you've got that that's a rubber seal and that when it when the choke goes up that'll open that we channel there and that's going to let the, the petrol through for your choke to operate when the engine's cold this can be a bit awkward right I'll get that screwed in so I'm not very sure if these bikes had a a cable operated I've never seen one so Right, I'll get that fitted onto the bike. Hey, I've got the carburetor fitted on. Hey, I've had to do some wee changes with this. The I got the got the carburetor and put the pedal tank on, and the throttle cable was hitting against underneath the pedal tank. So I've put a a different a uh, what do you call that? guide on it 90 degrees to it coming right up and I had to trim a wee bit off the top of that I've had to put a cable operated chuck on and I've put that on the handlebars I don't know if that's that's just a wee manual chuck conversion hey, I'm getting there I've got the throttle connected up I've got a. I'm gonna have to lead some through. I've got a tube to come through for the, the air filter. I've got the exhaust on. Right, so I've got the radiator on. So this should be running shortly, hopefully. 